Yo, <laughs> B2B are back, bro. That is a full seven. But as B2B for you, I said B2B are back. But even them themselves, I saw a tweet that they said that this is more like a debut. And we're going to treat it like that. Look at these rookies, bro. Look at these rookies debuting in what? 11, 16, 20, 20? B2B for you are debuting a subunit of the larger group, B2B. And they're here with their song, Show Your Love. Oh my fucking God. They're back. They're not back, but they're back. So like I said, B2B are, if you don't know, if you don't know, because I'm sure a lot of men are here, uh, if you don't know, B2B are a seven member group of fucking amazing vocalists, rappers, whatever you want to call them, and just beautiful souls and beautiful human beings, and they make great music. Check them out if you haven't. But half of them were in the military for a while, and now we're just waiting for the other half to come back, and they will be complete again. But in the meantime, our boy Hinsik had been in the lab and left a song for the boys to come back and do, which is actually, that's how I'm, that's how I've like played it out in my head that it had been, because Hinshik did partake in the lyric writing and the composition of the song with producers that I fucking love. Ease, Olander, Eden, they are amazing. Olander and Eden and like, Ease, like, they work on a lot of Dreamcatcher stuff, and if y'all know me, I fucking love Dreamcatcher, and they are such a versatile, finally got the word, <laughs> they're such a versatile, uh, group like set of like um, like producers. So like I said, the way I put it out of my head is that Hinshik did this guy to prepare for them to come back out, like come out of military and then just work on it together. Uh, and I'm just excited to finally get into this because it's B to B. It is to me, to us, similarly, it's a comeback, yo. It's a debut, but it's a comeback at the same time. If also, if you follow me, yo, like, y'all know me. I have found it so hard to get into a new boy group because all my boy groups, all my, like, favorite boy groups are, like, in some turmoil, bro. It's some kind of turmoil or just incomplete for whatever reason. We should be our back, bro. <laughs> it feels so good to have one of my favorite boy groups back, finally. Let's not delay it anymore because I, I can just talk forever about these guys. Let's check out B2B for you's Show Your Love. I B to be honest if there are lyrics already maybe yes oh my god look at my spirit animal oh my god oh there's no lyrics oh these aren't lyrics technically it's a script show your love oh silver light Yes! Oh my god, I just... <sighs> yes, bro. I knew it. I knew it. And what's crazy is, it already sounds along the lines of Only One For Me, but it's, it's still a different sound, you know? It's a different, it's not like... Because uh, I've always said, like, some people, like, feel like B2B come back and they're like... They're like the ballad group, but if you know B2B, you take the time to listen to them, they're not. And this is this is great. This is fucking great. It already has me fucking excited. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how it's gonna go. Are you getting chased? <laughs> Yeah. 
Top class actor beats a B is back as well. Look at the walker towards the other. Oh, oh y'all hiding some shit. Oh, y'all teasing something. Y'all really tease something like that? They really tease something like that. They really tease something like that. Oh, oh. dude, I'm so fucking excited right now. I'm so fucking happy right now. Oh, no, 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 we're watching that shit again, dude. It's crazy, because it had such a... Such a... Emotional... Emotional acting and aesthetic. You know, like, the like the aura the video gives. It's like... It literally feels like a beautiful pain, kind of. Uh, in the... He sounds so good on this, but are we shocked? Absolutely not. We're just happy. See, the song, like I said, is like only one, only one for me. Kind of similar vibes. Only one, only one for me. Oh. Show love like in general right now. The chance of in his own world, yo. Peniel and uh, Minhyuk are credited throughout the entire thing. So I definitely like, wrote their verses. They sound so good, yo. One more chorus, but I gotta sneeze. So I'm gonna cut that out. Because I am a loud sneezer. Can yell with the buzz with that the peak buzz cut.
I love when B2B give the bridge essentially to the rappers, bro. I, I, Dude, I've been lost in a world where I'm just looking at them and listening to the song and I just caught on to like what's happening in the MV. Like, like, de detail wise. Like at the end, kind of like uh, Romeo and Juliet, kind of. It looks like there's not another passed away and he wants to like take the poison as well. Like the detail of it, I missed, but in general, that's why I said like it felt like, um, what you call it? Beautiful paint a little bit. Now what is this, bro? What are y'all doing to me, bro? What y'all doing to us? I can't tease us like this. We're just sitting here waiting. Imagine you saw three shadows on them. Imagine were there three shadows? Imagine, imagine the scenes, bro. Imagine the scenes. Imagine they're like looking, and you see like three shadows pop up, like walking towards them. Ah! That hits, yo. Why is the world so painful instead of being beautiful? Ah! Oh, God damn, bro. Beats to be are back to hit us right in the feels with everything they do, bro. It is a known fact that Beats to be don't sell or make music. They sell and make emotions, bro. And even when they do upbeat tracks, you can feel it, and I just love hearing their voices together on something new. It feels so good. It feels like it's been forever, but at the same time, I think, come towards kind of this time next year? Are they all back together? Sometime around? Close? Uh, I think that's how it's gonna go. Um, I could be off by a bit, but I think come this time next year, they are all back together. Especially after the changes that happened, I think. It could be into early 2022, though. Just saying that hurts. But <laughs> uh, it's it just, uh, they're so, we're so close to having OT7 back together. They are fucking, they are timeless, yo. They are timeless. They've been doing this shit for almost a decade already. And still going, like, putting out beautiful music and beautiful... Providing beautiful vibes and beautiful feelings inside, bro, and always touching hearts. Yo, I, I'm getting emotional, bro. I'm getting into my emotional speak because it's B to B. Oh, I, it feels so good, bro. Never like B to B, Monster X, and like I can't come back. It's always a fucking feeling because those are my three. Y'all remember B to B were my first ever music video reaction. B to B's movie was my first ever music video reaction, and Melody came through and surrounded me and like. Kind of like introduced me to more B2B, and if it wasn't for Melody, I, I'd say a lot of the groups I've checked out first that became my mains. May, who knows if they'd be a thing? Because I may have taken longer to get into them, and who knows I may have gotten heavily into a different group. But y'all introduced me to like Master X. Master X introduced me to Icon, uh, and when my friend introduced me to Mama Moo, I believe Melody were already already telling me to check out Mama. Moo. So, it's B2B kind of initiated everything when it came to doing reactions. And I always like called B2B and like, B2B and Blackpink my first groups because Blackpink was my first MV that I went out of my way to look for first. And then B2B was my first reaction and the first fan that kind of like showed me the way in K-pop and stuff like that to, a, to an extent. It feels good. It feels so good, bro. And the song is good. I want to check out the rest of the album. Uh, I had mentioned before that I wanted to do it like same day. I still do, but because there's like I haven't checked out a few, uh, things in a while. I haven't like sat down and reacted to stuff in a while. I'm gonna react to a few things that I've been meaning to react to, and later on in the day, if I'm not like drained, because I don't want to sit here and do a reaction like just like 
not necessarily like not interested, but like y'all y'all know, like just visibly like drained and kind of like I'm just like slumped here, you know. Um, I want to like do it when I'm still full of energy. So later on in the day, after I get everything done, uh, I'm still feeling like sitting down and reacting to stuff because the whole sitting down in front of the camera and shit. Uh, I'll definitely do the first listen. If not, definitely sometime this week for sure. Um, but this this was so good, and I can't wait till they start doing. Whatever they teased at the end, because obviously they're doing something now. It seems like they're doing some kind of like, I don't know, like universe kind of thing or like connecting things together. Because the end, they definitely teased something. And whatever they do next, whether it's another beat to be for you, like a comeback beat for you. Or like I said, like it was like the three shadows walking out towards them. Uh, whatever the next thing is, I hope it starts with whatever they see behind that like gate that went up. Oh, this is such a good feeling, dude. I love this so much. Yo, shout out B2B, shout out Melody. Yo, we finally got our kings back. Half of them, but we got them back regardless. And I'm looking so much, I'm looking forward so much to whatever they have to do next. This was so good. Oh! Yeah, Jab Don't move, don't you